Good morning, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and exceedingly glad in it. First Corinthians 16 and 9, there is a wide open door for a great work here, although many oppose me. This is Pastor with the weekly greetings and pastoral observations for this week, beginning October 11th. Uh, the first thing is I just wanted to remind us that we consistently recite those ver that verse because it is the anchor verse for our theme for this year, which is this is the year of incursions. Additionally, unless I hear differently from the Holy Spirit, I think we're going to continue that theme for 2023 because there's yet more ground to be covered or perhaps a variation of the same thing. All right. So our observations for this week are as follows. Uh, we are on readings 283 through 289 for this week. And my goodness, the program has gone so fast. Before you know it, we'll be in day 300 and have just a little over two months left. So as I have admonished you before, uh, if you have fallen behind, keep going. You will catch up. As I said to you one time before, uh, there's been many times I've done the annual Bible literacy campaign program and fallen behind. But God has blessed me to catch up. And even with this one, it was the same. And I'm happy to report to you that I'm almost caught up. All right. Wednesday and Friday morning, our teleconference prayer encounter continues um, at the appointed time. And remember, we've made adjustments for scheduling purposes. All right. Um, and I think I had the wrong date. It's October 10th. OK, uh, our, our weekly observations for October 10th. I said the 11th, but it's the 10th. OK. And so we've made adjustments to prayer. It's not as long, but it is as strong and, and, is, and in some instances stronger. Come on in and pray with us. There's much for us to pray about. Our church is an interceding prayer, uh, a, a praying church, a church of warfare. Uh, we are people who do warfare. That's part of our DNA. So come on in and pray with us. And then Wednesday evening, maybe we can count to picks back up with one of our ministers, uh, bringing a sure and timely word from the Lord. And then uh, before you know it, our week rounds up and we are back to another Sunday. All right, just a few quick observations um, to highlight. On the first Friday evening of November, the first Friday evening of November, we're going to have an all night prayer encounter. And that will be in lieu of our first Saturday teleconference. So instead of having first Saturday teleconference, um, on the first Saturday, we'll have all night prayer encounter leading into that. And then we will not have the first Saturday teleconference, okay? Uh, the other thing is to be mindful of uh, December 25th, Christmas Day wonderful day that's happening in our fellowship with the ordination of our own elder elect Tanya Childs and we are going to be celebrating that day as we release her and officially uh, lay hands on her to uh, the ministry wherewith God has called her and then New Year's Day Sunday is going to be our Sunday worship encounter we will not be having a New Year's Eve encounter here at our location per se we will more than likely have a modified prayer meeting that Saturday evening about seven or eight o'clock or so. Uh, but we will not be having a uh, New Year's Eve encounter. Instead, we will be here New Year's Day. All right. Happy birthday to all of those born in the month of October and also uh, any anniversaries that we're celebrating um, for the month of October. We just celebrate you and just congratulate you as well. Well, that brings us to the close for uh, this week's greetings. And I just want to admonish you to just stay strong. And here's the quote for uh, this week. Stay on the potter's wheel. Stay on the potter's wheel. Uh, let the words of our mouths and meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that we could ask or think according to the power that works in us. And to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus through all ages, world without end. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. And let this countenance upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace and be with you now and forevermore. It is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we say and pray. Amen. Take care.